Forensic police at the scene of the second mass shooting in Serbia in two days. This time in the town of Dubona, south of Belgrade. Witnesses recall the moment the attack happened. I could hear people running. I'm not sure how many people were running away, but I saw many youngsters. I looked out of the window, but I didn't go out. Suddenly, I saw people carrying the wounded. It happened at a football pitch. Armed with an assault rifle and handgun, the shooter opened fire from a moving car, killing and injuring several people. After a manhunt that lasted several hours, police arrested the suspect on Friday morning. Many people are trying to process the loss of people they know. I am shocked. My daughter is taking sedatives. We couldn't sleep all night. They grew up together, from preschool to primary, and then secondary school. On Wednesday, a teenager shot dead several children and a security guard at a school in Belgrade. Police say the 13-year-old used his father's gun and had planned the attack for a month. Hundreds of people took part in a vigil at the school in honor of the victims. This is a tragedy for the whole nation. It's not only a tragedy for the families. This affects our whole society. President Aleksandr Vucic has declared three days of national mourning and promised to toughen gun control laws. We will conduct a complete disarmament of Serbia. Penalties for owning an illegal weapon will be much more severe, almost double. Mass shootings are rare in Serbia. The last occurred in 2013 when a war veteran killed 13 people. One of the biggest questions police are trying to answer is what prompted two young men to carry out these violent attacks and why now? Malachaba Mozepe, Al Jazeera.